The colours are changing at Q, but the brown tinge to the horse chestnuts isn't a sign of the seasons, it's a sign of infestation. So on this leaf we can see the blotches which are caused by the horse chestnut leaf miner. Each one of these will be damage caused by one caterpillar and as time goes on uh, the leaves turn completely brown as you can see here. For five years, Michael Pocock's team of 10,000 citizen scientists have been monitoring the leaf miner as part of a nationwide conquer science project. Their findings are alarming. The tiny caterpillars, when there are hundreds of thousands of them on a tree like this one, uh, they, they're eating so much of the green material, the tree can't feed its, itself well enough and it makes the tree more susceptible to other pests and diseases. Diseases like bleeding canker, which has infected scores of mature trees in London's Tooting Beck Common. It's irreversible and over decades fatal. Wandsworth Council now plans to cut these trees down and replace them with lime trees. It's a trend that's becoming increasingly common and posing a risk to one of our iconic British games. Last weekend's World Conquer Championships was marred by a lack of large chestnut seeds. The plight of the Conquer has got the newly crowned world champion worried. It would be awful. Um, we would uh, obviously not be able to play Conquers throughout the year. Definitely uh, try and save them, if not plant new ones. That it's, it's a dying, dying, dying tree. Let's grow, regrow them and let's get them back into circulation again. One simple way to help is to clean up underneath the tree. These fallen leaves may contain up to 100,000 caterpillars and if they're left here, they'll simply reinfest the tree. Even that won't fully stop the demise. While scientists search for the solution, our best line of defence could be to plant more, knowing they may inevitably become infested too. If you don't represent women in politics...